What's up, everybody? I'm James Duggan here with Ben Janka. Hey, James. We're playing that Tron game again. We are. I've been playing quite a bit, and I have assembled some tips and tricks uh, for playing this game. Oh. Look at that sweet, sweet juke. Lay, lay these tips on me. All right, so tip number one is you want to lay down, especially when you're in the running mode. You just want to lay down on the right trigger pretty much constantly. It's not something I'm doing here because I'm showboating. However, of course. do as I say, not as I do. That's tip number two. Uh, actually, tip number two is uh, chain a combo. So one thing that I didn't really know the first time that I played this is you see there in the upper right-hand corner we have that 56, 57, Yeah, that's a, that's a mighty combo you have going yeah, there. Yeah, so you have an amount of time to chain a combo uh, and pick up these little yellow uh, doodles. And basically... <laughs> doodles, it's a good word. Bits, we'll call them bits. Uh, and basically, if you get hit or if you run off the edge or something like that, your combo drops and there's no way you're going to get three stars. So actually playing this game, first of all, I was having quite a good time. And secondly, it actually ends up playing a bit like a guitar hero or a rock band. Really? Where, where you kind of start to memorize the level and the layout. Uh, and then, yeah, you just execute it. And when you execute it perfectly, it's a very satisfying feeling. And it's got some sweet jams, too. It does. Another good part of always hitting the right trigger is uh, there are all these green walls everywhere. You actually have to you have to drop into those or else you miss them and you'll fall. Okay. It's cool. But anyway, uh, hitting the right trigger uh, like to break those green things, that'll just give you points. So there's really no incentive not to just be hitting the right trigger all the time. Now, again, I wasn't doing it here just because I'm trying to be pro uh, and show that I don't need to hit the right trigger no, all the time. No, you don't need that at all. Uh, yeah, another thing to look out for is the cues, and when I say cues, I don't mean like waiting in line, I mean more like visual cues. Uh, even on some of the higher difficulties, you'll get cues when you need to destroy a block or slide or jump. Uh, so watch out for those, because it can get overwhelming, because there's just a lot going there's on. There's a lot going on, yeah. There's a lot. See, shoot, cue. There's a visual cue. Just like that. Bam. Uh, and then finally, this is my last tip for the running mode, but we'll watch to the end of this level because I'm awesome at this game. Hey. Is uh, watch the background and the foreground. Uh, a lot of the times it seems like you don't have a ton of time to react, but that's just because you weren't watching. Although some of the stuff kind of renders as you get close to it in kind of a Tron digital fashion. Mm -hmm. But enemies, see how far away that enemy spawns? He's, he's a ways away. Right. So you can kind of watch the background. And if I wasn't watching the background, I would have gotten hit by that for sure. But uh, since I'm such a pro... No big deal. Slide. You do the Slaying jump. Slaying it right now. And now for the rest of this, I'm just going to talk about how awesome I am. Okay, uh, all right. Until we get to the the other mode. Yeah. Well, oh, it's already done. I didn't oh, even have a chance right to talk there. about how awesome I am. Well, there you go. You killed it. Well, in case you were wondering, that was that was a perfect run. Well, it wasn't perfect. It was pretty close. It was ben. pretty close. That's as far as I can get in terms of not getting hit by stuff. Uh, let's see. Let's see how many stars I get here. One, two. A three. Uh, they're teasing it a little bit. There you go. Yeah, I did that a little prematurely, but uh, it's really satisfying. I like how they kind of give you a minute to think about what you've done before you exactly. get three stars. Moment of reflection. All right. Time to ride the light cycle. Oh, really? So here are my tips for this mode, which I maintain to be the much more difficult mode, at least to get started in, uh, because the controls, in terms of controlling the light bike, like you really have to feel it out in terms of drifting. Um, and my first tip is don't go on a murderous rampage. Like this guy next to me, yes, I could try and go over and kill him, but really I want to let him come to so me. Let people race. And uh, you need to focus on getting through these gates. These gates are what this mode is all about. If you miss, even if you miss like two or three of these gates at the start, uh, you can get farther in the level, but the time will evaporate because this, at least this level was designed in such a way that the gates become exponentially farther and farther away from each other as you get farther and farther into it. So you kind of need to... You stack that time. Exactly. Um, another tip for this mode is to spend your bits. So you get bits from completing levels, uh, and they can really give you... If you're kind of struggling on a level, they can give you a big boost when you need it. Okay. Um, they can do things like increase the amount of bits you get, which allows you to then spend more. Uh, they can also do things like if you get a chain, you get a little time bonus or something like that. So it, it's certainly uh, it's certainly helpful to do that. Although, you know, it was kind of satisfying not spending any yeah, and doing the level because I kind of felt like it was just me. Um, also, don't be afraid to restart. A lot of the times you'll, like, get far and you just kind of know that you're not going to finish it with the amount of time you've accrued, so don't be afraid to... You are nailing these tricks, by the way. Thanks, dude. Yeah, it was... Also, was murder again. Yeah, you know, sometimes... Sometimes, sometimes you've got to do a murder. 
Yeah. Again, he's a software program, so I'm not overly concerned with his existence, but it, he could be sentient. And then there's that whole uh, moral and ethical debate about what is sentience and what is life. And uh, that's really the next tip is what is life, Ben? Okay, yeah. The, actually, right. the, the, the next and final tip, and this is kind of that tip that it's like those cheesy movies where, like, someone is tries to become a samurai and they're like the heart of the samurai was in you all along my so final tip in yourself is practice oh okay practice is sort of like uh, yourself. yeah you do need to play these levels multiple times like you saw and especially in that first one i was kind of nailing some of the some of the guys but that's just because i had played it three to four times and i knew what was coming up so anyway those are my tips and tricks for tron runner you can check it out on steam for all things tron keep it right here on ign